While recently learning about Cubes OS, I was amazed at how containerization of apps, files, and workflows could add in so much extra security. If you don't know, Cubes OS is an OS where a VM called DOM0 runs a GUI and can start apps from other VMs. You control which VMs have access to the internet, and they all have their own files. Anyway, it's a cool OS that uses lots of VMs. Just because I like messing around with containers and graphical environments, I set out to create a similar setup for the Librem 5. Cubes OS uses a base OS of Fedora, but I'll just use Pure OS as a base and build on top of that. This script checks you're running as root, then runs a Debian build script. This builds a Debian 11 chew root and installs Fosh. It's then copied to var lib container. The script finishes by setting up the systemd and spawn files. With all that set up, we can start our half-baked DOM0 as an app in our normal Fosh session. This kind of nesting is super cool. It seems to be using the xwayland window to display the second Fosh session. Okay, but the base OS isn't really meant to do anything except run VMs. The GUI is supposed to be run inside of DOM0. While this is kind of cheating, it was pretty simple just to edit the user bin FOSS script. With a simple edit and the systemctl command, the GUI is off but FOSS is running. From within the DOM0 container, this is all that's needed to start the FOSS session. It does display a mouse cursor, and you have to disable docked mode in order to get the on-screen keyboard icon to appear. Still, this is really cool. While this is a far cry from the advanced CubesOS DOM0, it's a start that could be built up on to add a similar security model that CubesOS has. All of this is GPL and simple code. If you have use of setting up an nspawn container or if you need a Debian build script, this is a decent project to dig into. Thanks for watching. Bye.